Antonio R. A. Damasio, The Strange Order of Things, Life, Feeling, and the Making of Cultures. Embark on a captivating journey through human culture and development with The Strange Order of Things, Life, Feeling, and the Making of Cultures by Antonio R. A. Damasio. This insightful book challenges the traditional narrative that often sidelines the role of feelings in human development. Instead, Demacio emphasizes the crucial role that emotions play in driving innovation, social behaviors, and more. By examining the origins of feelings as an evolutionary tool, readers will gain an understanding of our deep connection to emotions and the ways they continue to shape our lives today. The Underrated Role of Emotions in Human Development Human development is often portrayed as an intellectual pursuit, but this overlooks the crucial role of emotions. Emotions such as hunger, pain, and curiosity have influenced our evolution by prompting us to innovate and better understand the world. They have also facilitated our ability to provide ourselves with necessities such as food, shelter, and medical care. Furthermore, Emotions serve as a feedback mechanism that helps us monitor our progress and determine if improvements are necessary. Social behavior is another domain where emotions play a significant role. Despite being frequently associated with higher brain function, social behavior can be observed even in bacteria, demonstrating that feelings are a fundamental part of our social interactions. The Vital Force of Homeostasis Homeostasis is an innate drive for balance or equilibrium, present in all living organisms and fundamental for survival and thriving. Our personal feelings represent agents of homeostasis, satisfying basic needs such as hunger and fear. Over time, these feelings evolved into self-consciousness, enabling us to reflect on homeostasis and the meaning of life. This drive has led to inspired techniques for meeting our health and safety needs, as well as art and philosophy to explore our emotions. Politics, technology, and science also respond to our pursuit of homeostasis. The nervous system, which allows messages to be communicated from the body to the brain, evolved 600 million years ago. Only with the development of the mental processes to transform mechanical responses into conscious experiences did feelings as we know them emerge. The drive for homeostasis is so vital that it has been present since the dawn of life, and it took billions of years for the right ingredients to come together, allowing the emergence of our complex emotions. Evolutionary Advantage Our evolutionary story began with single-celled organisms that could only sense physical or chemical events. Later, organisms developed a nervous system, mental processes, and the ability to map their environment. Mapping allowed organisms to generate images of both external and internal worlds, leading to the development of feelings. Reflection on these feelings gave organisms an evolutionary advantage as those who were better at sensing and responding to feelings lived healthier and safer lives, passing down this trait to their offspring. As organisms' brains continued to grow and develop new abilities, such as memory and the ability to play back entire events, human creative intelligence began to emerge. The Mind and Body Connection The mind and body are not two separate entities but are interconnected in ways we cannot ignore. Emotions play a significant role in bridging the gap between the two. Positive or negative feelings attached to an experience define its quality, and enrich life in ways we may not realize. Although emotions can get messy, they provide the necessary richness that makes up the human experience. The brain is part of the nervous system, which is connected to the body, and they are crucially intertwined. Therefore, it's essential to recognize that your feelings are important in bringing together your body and mind and play a co-equal role in shaping your well-being. Understanding Consciousness our unique perspective and personal emotions give rise to our personal perception of things, forming the core aspects of consciousness, subjectivity and integrated experience. Our mind is the projector and the audience of the mental images that flood our consciousness. This awareness allows us to act as a spectator of the world around us as well as of our internal world. Consciousness is composed of two core aspects, subjectivity and integrated experience. 
Subjectivity is our personal perception and feelings, which are influenced by emotions and colors our view of the world. It is created from a unique perspective that comes from what we see and hear. The emotions that we personally attach to our perceptions form the other important ingredient for subjectivity. The second aspect of consciousness is the integrated experience. This is the process of applying a piece of subjective mental imagery to the bigger picture of our experiences, which is crucial for us to make sense of things. It helps us see the complete picture and the plot on the movie screen of our mind. Thus, consciousness is a composite of both subjectivity and integrated experience. It is a beautiful creation of our unique perspective, personal emotions, and our experiences. The Role of Emotion in Cultural Development Culture encompasses all of our inventions, ideas, and creative accomplishments. While some believe that intelligence is the driving force, emotions play a critical role. Throughout history, feelings of hunger, fear, and grief have prompted innovations in shelter, clothing, tools, and religion. Music, dance, and art provide comfort and consolation, while philosophy and science are spurred on by feelings of wonder and discomfort. Without emotion, cultural development would lack a powerful motivator. Modernity and the Clash with Homeostasis Despite our modern advancements, the ancient principle of homeostasis still governs our responses to the environment, leading to conflicts and crises in a cosmopolitan world. We live in a time of unprecedented comfort and health, thanks to the advancements in science and technology that have reduced mortality rates and made it easier to access knowledge and travel worldwide. However, despite these achievements, there's still a sense of crisis, and happiness levels are on a decline in some areas. Threats to our survival, such as climate change, cyber warfare, and nuclear weapons, loom over us every day. Looking into the ancient principles of homeostasis, we can understand why many of these problems seem overwhelming. Homeostasis governs an individual's response to their environment, and our subjective nature often results in mental walls forming that keep our concerns focused on personal well-being rather than others. Although homeostasis can be extended to include small groups or families, our sense of balance will never change to be concerned with wider communities, especially culturally diverse ones. Collective groups of people are often referred to as a body, but such groups are ultimately driven by individual self-interest, leading to conflicts with the principles of homeostasis. Therefore, many of the problems facing the cosmopolitan world are not surprising since our homeostatic responses were refined over millions of years of evolution. We can't expect to suddenly be receptive to the homeostatic needs of a culturally diverse population that has only existed for a few thousand years. The clash between modernity and homeostasis is like a clash between two worlds, where the principles of homeostasis govern how we experience and respond to our environment, based on emotions of pleasure and pain rather than logic. As we attempt to replace our instinctual processes with gadgets and creature comforts designed to make us feel balanced equilibrium, we face conflicts and confusion about modern life. We must ask ourselves, have we gone too far in our attempts to manage our experience logically and scientifically? In conclusion, The Strange Order of Things provides an in-depth exploration of the importance of feelings and emotions in both our personal experiences and overall cultural development. By tracing emotions back to their evolutionary roots and demonstrating their influence on survival, social behaviors, and creativity across generations, Antonio R. Damasio highlights the often understated role of feelings in human development. The book also prompts reflection on the struggle between our innate homeostatic instincts and the fast-paced, ever-changing modern world built around logic and science. Acknowledging the essential role of emotions allows for a more comprehensive understanding of the human experience and the intricate balance we strive to maintain in our lives.